Hey Capricorn, it's me Alex and I'm here to bring you your bonus reading. I hope you guys are doing amazing. Let us see what the universe has for you. Capricorn. Sorry, I was just told to do that, to reset. Let's go Capricorn. Here we go. Ooh. Knight of Pentacles, slow and steady wins the race. Ace of Wands, you have your eyes set on the prize. Ooh, one, two, one. A one, two, a one, two. Ooh, six of Wands. Blockage. Pentacles. Two, three, three, four. There you go. Showing up in your own reading. <clears throat> so collaborations you're afraid you're holding on to uh, feel like you're trying to figure out if you need to include somebody in something that maybe you've been working on for a long time uh, I'm also hearing for some of you your whether uh, you could be thinking about if you want to kind of spend your time with someone else, maybe branch out. I also kind of feel like a lot of you guys are wondering if you should maybe veer off course, maybe take a chance on something or someone. I do kind of feel like if you are curious, if, um, okay, I heard if you are thinking about maybe going into business with maybe family, friends, or, you know, it's almost like you have this amazing business idea and you're wondering if you should bring other people into it. Yeah, look at that. Two of Pentacles on Two of Pentacles. King of Wands. Death card. So some are traveling this way. The King of Wands is looking that way. Eight of Cups. Justice. I just heard don't go at it alone. Oh, God. The devil in self-sabotagery. Seven of Swords. Oh, you're probably... Oh, you're... Th mm. It's almost like you're afraid of rejection or afraid of failure. Right? And it's almost like... You work, work, work towards something, and then after a while, you just retreat or pivot or change the direction. Here, I feel like maybe the universe is advising you to slow and steady. Keep going. Take your time. Don't break course. But I feel also, too, at the same time, some of you are bored, right? Which is the King of Wands is almost sitting smack dab in the middle of your reading. You want to have some fun. feel with the king of wands and the death card the, the universe is trying to say hey tame this wild beast right or you're going to wind up having to abandon something that you have invested great heart and emotion into i do kind of feel like um mm, this is a weird message my angels said be careful of a ping pong effect Right, where you're like, ping, ping, right? You're not really being erratic because this is not erratic behavior. Erratic behavior is like that. So we start out slow and steady, right? Very focused, right? Very determined. Six of Pentacles, it's almost like you're allowing it to go slow. You're giving it a little bit of time here, a little bit of time there. I do kind of feel like there could be this anxiety, excitement, urge that comes a across you that's going to force you to make a decision. Do I still want to keep going slow and steady or do I want the excitement of the short-term gratification? I feel like the universe is saying dead that short-term gratification stuff. You'll have more success staying on course. You have to block the urge to veer off course. Uh-huh. 
Justice will come. The payout will come. Don't freak yourself out and and betray yourself. How do you betray yourself? I didn't listen to that little voice inside of me. Three of Swords, don't do it to yourself, uh, Capricorn. You got Three of Pentacles and Three of Swords. Some sort of third party group dynamic is working. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Um, I do kind of feel like whatever this third party is, right? I don't see a couple here, so I don't know if it's a couple, okay? Or like a third party couple relationship type of situation. It can be. But I do kind of feel like somebody could be complaining about you not being present, whether it's physically or mentally, right? You ever sit in front of somebody and your mind is elsewhere, that's what's considered not being present. Somebody could be complaining about that with you. Star card. <laughs> Angel said Capricorn has a bright idea. Yeah, you get you get bored. Um, Angel said a lot of you guys get bored quickly. So that must be a Capricorn characteristic. Ten of Swords. You are a cardinal sign. Yes, you are. Yeah, queen of pentacles. Those are the cardinal signs. The queens are the cardinal signs. So that kind of means that you have a bunch of beginnings, right? You, you could be infatuated or obsessed with beginnings. They just, you know, bring a high. You get on a high when you're beginning and you're, trouble, you're brainstorming and troubleshooting. That, that, um really ignites you but this knight of, knight of pentacles ain't nothing igniting him or him or her them or they but they're about to approach something they're gonna juggle weigh in balance then they're gonna uh, receive clarity on what to do next and where to go forward four of pentacles is you know saving your money holding your money or blocking your money um with the three of pentacles is that group dynamic that you know, um, committee type of decisioning, which you are afraid of. Oh, angel. Oh, okay. 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 Now an easy example of this dynamic here is almost like you may be saying, damn, should I, you know, join this group or should I just go at it alone? Right. And I feel like in that group dynamic, you are afraid or nervous of that group dynamic. And I feel like the reason why you're afraid is because maybe you, um, how do you say, you prefer to have control over everything. <clears throat> three twos on the table? Just three? Okay. So the two of wands is trying to figure out your path. For some of you, you're praying for some inspiration or motivation two of pentacles ten of swords and the two of pentacles you keep going back and forth too much it's almost like you're incredibly indecisive six of swords six of swords is slowly is is moving over into calm or want yeah you got to calm yourself down so you can receive clarity for some of you i would even um how do you say uh suggest meditating you need to meditate because with the Ten of Swords, where did I see the Ten of Swords? <laughs> Am I making stuff up? No. Ten of Swords is here. So it's almost like you got a lot on your mind. You, you, a lot of you could be overwhelmed. You need to find a quiet corner, calm yourself down so you can receive clarity, so you can understand the next course or the next route to take. Now this just in... When I looked at the Six of Wands and the Death card, it's almost like you're debating going back and forth on whether or not you should reach out to someone. Cla right? The, eight, the swords represent communication, clarity, thought, analysis, intelligence. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, yeah, you want to maybe reach out to somebody. Perhaps even a third party situation because I do have you Capricorn as the devil with the Seven of Swords. Are you getting into your darker shadow energy that which is where the, the lies and the deceit and 
Ooh, let me go find me a third party. Mm. Moving on. Ace of Swords again. So we have the Ace of Swords here and the Ace of Wands. That's your third Ace on the table. Yeah, you're looking for clarity on whether or not you should end one thing and maybe move on to something else. Do I not end one thing but still move on to something else? Do I end everything and move on to something else? That's what you're weighing and balancing and going back and forth on. Well, there's another two. Two of Cups. Do I move away from one love and connect with another one? Yeah. Mm, this is interesting. I don't know who this is going to resonate with. But I just heard, you know, maybe you met somebody and you're getting to know this person and maybe you're ready to take it to the next level, which is the sexual level. And you're quite nervous about whether or not you're going to uh, encounter any sort of rejection. Eight of Cups, as I said, rejection. Eight of Cups here, Eight of Cups there. Um. <sighs> Is it always about third party seven of pentacles? Wait it out. Yeah, don't jump the gun, um, Cap. Wait it out. Wait it out. And the reason why I say that is because the eight of cups is here with the three of pentacles and the justice card. I do kind of feel like if you give this thing more time, maybe three weeks, three months, um, you won't have to walk away from it. I feel like if you jump the gun, you're going to have to walk away from it. All right? I have the death card here with the ace of swords that just basically says we're, we're saying to you continue on your course continue to go slow if you king of wands it you jump the gun you get impulsive you get impatient the clear answer is it's going to end whatever this is if it's money if it's career right say for instance you've been on your job for 10 years and you're like okay i want to you know apply for this promotion and you start going hard for the promotion you know, start asking around. Um, angels are saying, hey, just just let it come together, right? Let it materialize. Let it mature on its own instead of you trying to force it and uh, run the risk of killing it and, and letting it die. Look. <laughs> well, so much for that. Um, but I feel like that go for it is is your energy right now that go for it is you know it could be you wanting to express to someone how you feel about them right um maybe you're happy that this person is now financially stable and they're you know they could be showing you attention but they could be with somebody and you may be like okay i know you're with somebody but i just want you to know i'm deeply in love with you right like oh I mean, the two of cups is here, so that's, that's, that's valid. Meaning the two of cups as in an emotional connection. You are wishing and praying for guidance, for a spark, for some energy, for some, a clear message. You want a clear message. Well, you about to get one because that, that card hit the flow. Be proud of yourself. Aww. Okay. Be proud of yourself and go for it. Okay, so that kind of says to me, go for what you want, but I'm also hearing in the back of my mind, be sensible, right? Go for what you want, but be responsible. King of Wands and the devil, I can't say that that's responsible. I can't. I wish I could, but I can't, especially not with the Seven of Swords. It's almost like you are trying to logically, you're trying to, logically decide to be deceitful <laughs> right you're trying to logically decide to go sideways it's a oh okay all right the ace of swords clarity with the death card you want to know is it really over or do i have some wiggle room because i want to move i want to move forward with you Four of Pentacles sometimes means holding on to something, holding on to something or someone that has ended or they've walked away. Justice, Three of Pentacles, I want us to be a family again, but the Eight of Cups is there. I don't know. 
Maybe you should uh, leave things as they are. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Take it as it resonates. And go for it and um, be proud of yourself. Maybe you're turning down the third party because you're like, I'm too grown for that shit. Reveal what needs to be seen. Ew. Mm. So if you have deep down feelings or emotions, yeah, that clarity. Maybe you're looking for angels to say to you, oh, angels are giving me the Ross and Rachel. When he was about to marry Emily and Rachel had to tell him she was still in love with him. Yes, I'm a friendsaholic. I used to be. I'm a re recovering friendsaholic. Step into your power. See, you're getting all of these messages that say, do it, right? And I feel like with that King of Wands energy, you want to. But the thing about Capricorns, y'all don't like rejection, okay? Honor your feelings, okay. So you know what, Cap? I'm gonna completely, completely, completely contradict myself. Okay, because the cards are basically saying, go for it, do it, you deserve it, you're great, be proud, express your power. But Seven of Swords is like, is this the, oh, oh, that makes sense. Now, let me, teach, let me tell you something about the universe, okay? And I've had this happen to me. The way the universe works is, it will give you all of the green lights, okay? because it wants you to just go forward, to just just do it, Cap, just do it, right? You gotta be ca not careful because the universe is gonna win at the end of the day. The universe will give you all green lights and sail you right into a brick wall, right? Now here's how the universe works. When you hit that brick wall and you're down and you're trying to figure out why the hell and what did I do that for? And I'm never doing that again. God is sitting right there, angels are sitting right there to help you elevate and evolve. So I feel like there's something that's been on your mind for so long, Knight of Pentacles. You've been thinking about or heading towards this one thing forever, okay? And I feel like at the end of the day, you're not gonna rest until you get it off your chest, Ace of Swords, right? Twice, until you get it off your chest and you just say it or you just do it right at the end of the day i feel like yeah with the seven of swords the eight of cups here twice i i i don't know i could be wrong i don't know if it's going to work out right because eight of cups twice that's like walking away leaving shutting down emotionally seven of swords definitely is running away like a coward right um maybe your person will run away maybe you'll try to wait them out you're waiting for an answer and they're delaying or, you know, delaying that answer because they don't know how to tell you. You know what I mean? It could be any of those things. But I feel like whatever this is, you got to get this shit off your chest ASAP, quick, fast, and in a hurry. Even to an extent if you know it's going to crash and burn. Because I really do feel like to keep it on your chest is this devil energy, right? The devil is the devil in all, all of us. It's our shadow side. It's our dark side. So whatever this is, is almost like burning a hole in your spirit, you know, and angels are like, just, 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 just out with it. Just say it, say it and then leave, <laughs> say it and then walk away, say it and then get off the phone, you know, and I feel like that, that card about, um, go for it, be, be proud of yourself, step into your power, reveal what needs to be seen, right? Just, just get it off your chest. Just get it off your chest. Say it with your chest. <laughs> like Kevin Hart says, say it with your chest, you know, and, and then just be done with it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Angels just said with the de uh, devil card too, I do kind of feel a sense of secrets. Something's hidden. Maybe your ex-wife got married and you fell back in love with her and you're like, Hey, can we have another chance? And she's happily married. And you're like, you know what? I just got to say it. I'll be deceiving myself if I don't get it off my chest. And you say it just knowing that she's going to be like, uh, fool, I'm married to somebody else. And then it could be lo, lo and behold. And she'd be like, you know what? I haven't stopped thinking about you either. I love you too. Yes. Let's reconnect and reunite. Mm, it could be anything, baby. 
Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. You see me shuffling, I'm pulling up my cards. If the reading does resonate, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. I love you, Cap. Bye.